Hey guys, A28 Finder Venture here. I'm gonna install some bushwhacker fender flares onto my truck to keep the water, debris, and mud from spraying up the sides. I'm only having to do that because I've got an offset on my wheels of plus 18, and it makes the tire stick out about three quarters of an inch, just enough to spray down the side of the vehicle. So let's check it out. If you've watched any of my previous videos, you know that I've been trying to delete all the chrome on this truck. One of the things I also wanted to add for protection are some fender flares. I looked at the OEM from Toyota, and I also looked at the Bushwhacker, and I got a better deal on the Bushwhacker unpainted. It came with all the hardware and everything needed to put them on. So this video is gonna show you what I did and how I installed them and the little, the little tips I can give you on things that gave me a few hangups. Anyways, let's get started. Okay, the first thing you do is, of course, unpack the box. Get everything out of the box and get the fender pieces unwrapped. I used my truck as a table so I could lay out all the pieces and all the parts that I needed to install these. Okay, so let's start organizing all our parts. We have the two pieces of plastic that bolt into the inside of both front fenders. There is a left and a right. We have the rubber trim with the 3M double stick tape to go along the edge of each fender flare. We have a tool to help us with that rubber trim to make sure it seats correctly. We have longer screws than what normally comes on your truck. And that's basically it. Now, there is some preparation to the fender flares before you put them on the truck. As you can see, I have some rubbing alcohol that I'll use to clean the fender flares before I stick the rubber trim on there. You can also see I put all the screws in a magnetic bowl. Thank you, Harbor Freight. So I'm getting everything laid out in preparation for the install of the rubber trim on each fender flare. This is equally time consuming as putting them on the vehicle. Get a chair, sit down at your truck and do it, or sit in front of the TV and do it. It's a little time consuming, but it's pretty easy once you get the hang of it. Here is the push pin you're going to need to remove. You will also need to remove the two screws holding the mud flaps onto the vehicle. And on both the front fenders on the top of the wheel arch, you're going to need to remove the screws and screw in these plastic pieces. There is one left and one right. When you bolt these on, to the actual vehicle, you'll notice there are two metal clips. These are used to attach the fender flare to. Be warned, these metal clips are very fragile and they do break. I had to replace two of them because if you don't get the screw in correctly the first time, you'll twist it with the ratchet and it'll just snap that clip. These two screws on the front of each of the front fenders will have to be removed as well. Now all of this is in the directions. They're kind of small, but they are all in there with some black and white pictures.
Well, here you have it, the finished product. I think it really completes the vehicle. It also, because I have a plus 18 offset on these 18 by nine inch wheels, it keeps all the mud and rocks from spraying up on the side of the vehicle. I have only about a 0.75 inch poke from my wheels and tires. So these were perfect because these bushwhackers only extend out 0.75 inches. Overall, I'm very satisfied with the look of the vehicle. I think these Bushwhacker fender flares fit pretty well. I don't know how the OEM fender flares fit the Toyota trucks or how they go on. These were pretty simple, pretty clean, and came with everything I needed. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video. These flares are very helpful in keeping the truck clean and keeping it from getting scratched. I hope you listen to some of the tips that I put in there. It's pretty easy and self-explanatory. If you've got any mechanical skills, you can do it. Just take your time and be careful not to break those clips. Anyways, I hope you liked the video. If you would, please subscribe and please hit the like button. I'd really appreciate it. And I've got some more videos coming that you'll really enjoy. So stay tuned. See ya.